Hi, my name is Nick and welcome to another episode of Insight Series. Today we have a green blogger, a wellness warrior, and the founder of a blog called Honest Green Mama. Nina Devuj is also one of our newest silver leaders in the Young Living community. Let's find out from her what it means to be an honest green mama. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nick. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor to be here. Yeah, no, the honor is all mine. Um, so you're, you're an honest green mama, or rather you're the honest green mama. What does that mean exactly? Wow. Uh, Nick, you know, when I was um, thinking about the name of how I wanted to, in a way, brand myself with this website that I was creating, um, I wish I could have really encompassed it in all, all of this in one statement. Uh, so I'm going to try. Um, mama, because I am a mom, uh, who's really trying to do the best for my family. Um, and, and green, because I'm also trying to do the best for my family and the right thing for the planet in the long term. Nice. Um, and one of the things that we, you know, honest, because there's a lot of greenwashing out there, and it's really hard for a lot of people when they are starting on their sustainability journey to understand, like, what is the right product for them, um, not just in terms of their lifestyle, but also in terms of um, clean and low tox. Um, so that's what Honors Green Mama is started, as, uh, how it started and what it's really all about. Right. What led you to start Honors Green Mama and, and why? Oh, long story. Um, I <laughs> it is a long story. Uh, so be prepared for this, okay? Um, yeah, so, okay. I, <laughs> so I got pregnant in 2015. And it was um, only, I think, when I was eight weeks pregnant that I started to like, get really sensitive to some of the fragrances around me. Um, and a lot of it was because of like the shampoo that I was using. And I thought I was using a pretty clean shampoo. Um, and some of these shampoos were found in the supermarket or the pharmacies. Um, and every time I walked into like a shopping mall that had a like really strong fragrance, I would feel really sick or nauseous. Um, and so, you know, I thought like, okay, something's not right here. Um, I started doing some research uh, into switching uh, into some more organic products. Um, and I realized how expensive that they, they actually were um, and how sustainable it was becoming from my own uh, bank account, right? Uh, so then I started making my own uh, using Castile soap, like a, a lot more natural products, uh, soap nuts. Um, this gave me a lot more control uh, over what we could actually put on our skin, uh, what we were eating, right? What we were putting on, uh, what, especially you know, on, our, on our scalp, because obviously the skin is like the biggest organ of our body, uh, in our body. Um, so it really helped me to understand more uh, as I was doing more research, what clean and natural ingredients really were. I understand that we were being greenwashed um, and you know, these simple swaps were actually really helping us make more savings in our bank account uh, once we were doing all these transfer buying and it also helped us reduce our waste um, as a new mama then I was shocked at how much we were spending on baby clothes and baby diapers uh, not that we were using a lot of them then we use cloth diapers and so I made a conscious effort to either borrow um, or swap with people but a lot like really reduce the waste that we were we were creating uh, it was something that I really wanted um, to, to, to the kind of life that I wanted to live. So when my friends were like constantly coming to me, a lot of like my, my new mama friends were coming to me and asking me like, hey, how do you do this? What do you do that? Like, you're like the most organic, natural wellness person that I know. Can you help me? Like, I don't know where to start. And I was like, okay, let me document this in my Instagram. So I started doing that in my Instagram account and I only got more and more active with it um, in the last few months. Right. I, I love that, uh, you know, you, you didn't start this um, by wanting to spread a message. You know how a lot of people say that, like, uh, oh, I, I, want to, I want to make a change and all that. I mean, kudos to them, of course, but I, I love how you stumbled into it and, and how people found value uh, that you were providing them and, and came to you for tips and knowledge and insights. And from there, it kind of grew into uh, something from something very sim uh, simple from uh, uh, um, kind of like how you wanted to save money and how you wanted to, to do your part, right, for your family. And, and it grew into kind of like a movement. And, and now you're moving into kind of sharing and educating people um, and, and helping others do their part as well. 
Yeah, I really only hope to inspire through education. I think that, um, you know, by us living our best lives uh, in the way we want, uh, we only hope mm. to to inspire other people to hopefully jump on the bandwagon and do the same. And it seems like to me that um, Young Living plays a, a huge part in your green living. Um, how did you stumble upon Young Living uh, to begin with? Oh, let me, again, when I was pregnant. <laughs> So a lot of this started um, when you were pregnant. A lot of this yeah, started because so of your pregnancy. All started because of my pregnancy. So this wow. was five years ago. Um, I stumbled into Young Living for the first time with my friend Kabita. So my friend Kabita was dabbling with oils. Um, she, you know, I told her, I was like, oh my goodness, like this haze is killing me. Because at the time there was a huge haze problem in 2015. I, I was quite, like, I think I was like second trimester already by then. And my friend Kavita, who was like also all about holistic wellness, her mom was like refused the Western doctors for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and she was all about more holistic uh, health. So she support, her mom also supported the family with oils and supplements. And so she was the one who said, look, I've got eucalyptus and uh, seeds for you. Start diffusing them around the house. And you know, that would help to clean up the air. So I said, okay, I'll accept your present and I'll try it. But I never really understood the power of oils. Um, and the reason for that, I felt, was because, um, you know, my friend was great in you as a user, but she was, um, at the time, not as empowered as an educator, right? Um, mm. By the way, I've since recruited her into my community because she hadn't used oil <laughs> for a while. Uh, <laughs> she moved countries and she didn't know how to, like, set up the market there, so she... She, she, she became an inactive member. So I was like, hey, come and join my community instead. Um, right. And then anyway, so just to digress, it was only, uh, sorry, uh, just to come back to the point. So it was only about a year ago um, when Andrea, of course, you know, Andrea McMaster, um, she is one of the goal leaders in the community. So she and I met when I was pregnant at 32 weeks. And then after we gave birth, we, you know, we kind of lost touch a little bit. Um, and then we reconnected again through social media. And I said, look, I want to learn about these oils, these plants, these goodness. I know about Young Living, but I have no idea about the power. Can you teach me? And she said, yes. And so the rest is history. Uh, I've since joined Young Living, um, really like using the products. I feel super empowered. My husband uses the products. You know, he, he is an oily man. My kid uses the products. He will... No, he's like, can you please put on the diffuser before going? Can you please spray this thing? Can you please have the bobo spray for me? Like he himself knows what he's going to pick up. My helper as well uses the products. So nice. we completely turned this entire family into like a young living home, almost like a young living experience center, by the way. Um, you might have An some oily family. There. An oily family. <laughs> nice. I love and the idea of that. Just the sound of it makes me smile. <laughs> yes, this is a very oily home. My kitchen is filled with um, plus oils. Plus oils, yes. Amazing. And you know, speaking of Young Living, you recently uh, reached a new milestone. Uh, you, you reached uh, a Chief Silver rank with Young Living. And what does that mean for you? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you, I grappled with this idea. Um, I think uh, when I first hit Silver, I, I thought about it, actually. This was in March, right? Yeah. I think the word being a silver leader, I think this really only means a lot to the Young Living community. Uh, it is a great sign of recognition within the community by, by Young Living, right? And by all the other leaders around us as well. Um, but what it really means to me is that, honestly, I've been so blessed with a beautiful community of women who are working towards the same vision and goal. Um, you know, I feel that everyone who has been part of my community, who is a wellness guide, is here to really help people embark on a, a much, um, a, a long-term journey on health and to be also empowered financially. Um, so, you know, the, me achieving the ranks that I, I, I did, like this is absolutely not possible at all if I didn't have, um, you know, the community, the girls who are helping me um, you know, really nurture our community and as well as Andrea, who's, had to, who's helped to set me up for success. 
Yeah, um, and I think to a certain extent, it wouldn't have been uh, possible also if you weren't really convinced and uh, you know passionate about green living. Completely, completely. I'm like so filled with gratitude. Like my my home, my family. I it's they're the healthiest they've ever been. Um, I am really, really, really thankful for that. I'm not paying for for crazy medical bills at the moment. <laughs> I mean, all that yeah. going to oils like. Well, you know what they say: health is wealth, isn't it? Yes, it's yeah. true. It's it's and, it's an investment in our health. Like I rather be. I'd rather be investing in our health now, knowing that we can have this huge weight off our back when it comes to like being scared or, or you know, in terms of whatsoever, right? Of, of, of mm. diseases or illnesses or whatever that could potentially come. And, and if they come, you know, we'll, we'll use all this to support us emotionally. But I just feel so, so grateful for all this plant goodness, really. Yeah, and and you know, coming back to uh, you being a mom and uh, doing your your bit for the family, I'm sure as a new mother, um, it, it's your life is has its own different version for you, right? Um, so as a green blogger, a wellness warrior, and a mother, uh, how what's your day or week like? What does what does it look like? Oh my God, Nick! I think you forget <laughs> the fact that I might have actually a full time job. <laughs> oh yeah, right, and that too. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you've got four things going uh, on for you. A green, you've got goodness. a green blog, a wellness warrior, and then you've got a, a, you're a new mother and a full-time job as well. Uh, wh while we're at it, why not throw in the silver leader part? So you've got five <laughs> years and you're playing. Mind-blowing. How do you do that? Like, what, okay, tell us, what does your week look like? Okay, um, maybe, before, maybe before going to the week, let's, let's start at the very top, right? Um, I... I don't think I would have been able to do this if I didn't have a very clear vision and purpose in my life. And for me, it was very important to, you know, that's why Honest Green Mama was born, really to help in a lot of ways. Well, you know, yeah, okay, it's great to, I hope to inspire people, but it's also a way to keep me on my own journey, right? Um, that's my true north, right? To be able to live a non-toxic life. And a non-toxic life to me is three things. One, a non-toxic mind. So how do we keep the mind clean, right? And what's in your mental diet? So I give an example, Having a, putting on a growth mindset. That's something that is much, much, much more positive, much, um, you know, uh, just, it's just reframing, right? Not, not setting limitations on myself, but saying, I want to go there, right? And, and letting go of anything that really doesn't serve me throughout that, that period. So just be very, very clear of the goal. Um, second, um, it's, you know, making sure that I do not have any, um, how do you put it this way without, um, so, so it's, it's, you know, uh, um, allowing negative thoughts to come in the way, right? So right. that's why a grounding meditative practice for me is very important because it helps me to really stay calm and focus throughout my day, um, and not allowing distractions, right? So these are the two things when it comes to having a low tox mind, right? Um, I don't actually have time for Netflix. And if I do, I usually watch a very, very light one uh, or a documentary because if I don't want this kind of energies in my head. So just be very clear. Um, the, second, the second part to this trilogy of uh, mind is body, okay? So what do we put on ourselves, right? Uh, how do we make sure that we are... Um, you know, not adding in more uh, toxicity into our bodies. Um, so it's through the food that we eat, right? So uh, cutting out the sugar, uh, cutting out the alcohol, the gluten, the dairy, right? Having a much more clearer mind, um, eating organic as far as possible, right? And if not possible, washing them clean with the right fruit and vegetable wash, thieves, vegetable wash, if none of you are using that yet. <laughs> plug for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did not ask for that, just to be clear. <laughs> if you're not using that yet, you should use it. Um, and then, you know, um, cleaning them, right, before using them. And definitely the products that you use every day, shampoo, soap, you know, you can always use the Young Living, um, the Young Living version. It's much easier. It's off the shelf and you can dilute it. It's that concentrated. Um, or you can get a very natural soap nut um, you can get soap nuts or you can make castor soap. You can get it from other shops, bulk stores. There are lots of bulk stores that sell that without packaging. 
Um, and you can add your essential oils in them that you love, like geranium or lavender, rosemary, whatever that suits your fancy, and it's completely yours. And it's low tox or no tox. It's got a lot of plant goodness, right? And it completely changes your whole body and emotions. Um, and the third piece, sorry, the third piece to this trilogy is, uh -huh. um, sorry, is uh -huh. planet. Is planet. Pla okay. Planet. Planets, like environment. Oh, planet, right, mm -hmm. right, right, like Earth, okay. Yes, like Earth, you know? Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys a secret. I grew up watching Captain Planet. So that will tell you how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> when you said, I'm going to tell you guys a secret, I was like, okay, wait, whoa, she's going to let us in on something. And you're like, I grew up watching Captain Planet, and immediately I'm like, what? <laughs> That will tell you how old I am because I don't think many people know what Captain Planet is. And for me, when I, I remember, it was something that really resonated with me. I can't remember the guy's name, but I can remember that there was a lot of like corporations who were just profiting off products, right? That they were making. They were clearing out forests just for their own greed, right? Hey, and, and, and I understand you might need some space, but you don't need this much space, okay? Um, and all the other things that were leaking into the environment. So for me, it was very important that the kind of environment that we live in was not just, I wouldn't say organic, but not just as clean as possible. And we're very lucky to be living in Singapore. I used to live in Hong Kong, so I can tell you that pollution levels, even during the haze, is not as bad as if you were living in Hong Kong, okay? So, um, you know, this type of places are good. You know, we were very lucky to have such clean water, um, and at the same time, you know, whatever that we were doing, we want to make sure that we're not generating even more waste for the planet because it's, we're also, you know, wanting to make sure that we're not toxic. Um, uh, adding on making, to the toxic, the toxic Adding on to the toxicity of the environment, mm -hmm. which is then causing climate change. Um, right. So these are the three things that really, you know, for me was very important in terms of uh, living our life. Um, and, and was my, it's really like my compass moving forward. So that's before talking about a day in a life off. So now that I know my moral, my compass, my true north, right? It's wow. everything else becomes very easy to do. When I say very easy, <laughs> let's take it with a pinch of salt, but still pretty, <laughs> relatively easier because I know where I'm going, right? And I'm not going to lose sight of that vision. Um, so, you know, I have a full time job. Um, I actually work in the talent space for an advertising tech company. Um, and I run a team across Asia Pacific. So everywhere from Japan to India, that's about like 13 countries. Um, it's not easy, right? To be able to do that, plus that, plus, 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 but we'll learn to manage. And the reason for that is because one, I think um, I've also come to a point in my career where a lot of my work is more thinking time rather than executing time. So it, it's, it's more strategic and it's a lot more about empowering the people uh, who work closely with me, uh, whether it's in my community, right, in terms of the Young Living community, or it's at a full-time job. And also having the right people to, um, at home, for instance, I have my husband, I also have my helper, and my son is now four and a half, so it's a little bit easier. And it's, I would not have embarked on this journey if I still had a newborn. Uh, I'll be very honest about that. So kudos to all those very, very new mamas who are on this journey. I know of a few of you. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you guys are doing it, but <laughs> salute. Um, so yeah, so what I know, I, like a day in the life of pretty much, I wake up at five. I set, I go, I, I go into a, a, a grounding meditative practice. I do some physical yoga as well. It's more light in the morning because, you know, still very early. Um, and then uh, this usually ends by half six. Um, then I go to wake my son up and get and, and start to get myself ready. Um, now we work from home, um, but my routine hasn't really changed to be honest. Um, you know, I, I start my job at eight o'clock, no matter what. I don't have breakfast till about 11.30. Um, I have a lemon water in the morning, warm lemon water, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then it lasts me till 11.30. And usually, and I, I, stay, I remain very focused. I'm not on my phone. I don't check my WhatsApp. I just work on the task at hand. And then um, depending on the days, I either then take 30 minutes to do a, a light yoga session. I, I actually got certified as a yoga teacher a few years ago. 
I don't teach anymore. I used to teach in a studio. Nice. <laughs> so I, I have my own practice. Um, or if my husband's free, like now that we're working from home, we, we go and kick each other out and like go for a bike ride down to the river and then to Kalang and back. That's about 20 kilometers um, in an hour. So it's quite fun. Um, and then I come back and then have quick lunch uh, and then start work again. So I have multiple start and finish, finish times and during, before, before going into every single one, I know, okay, these are the things that I must finish. These are the people I need to speak to and be very, very focused. So because um, I do have also um, lines reporting to the US, so sometimes it depends on the day. There's sometimes that we have to work, um, you know, later hours uh, for, with some projects in the US. And that's and that's why I stagger my days. But I think it's also like the company that I work for, we're quite flexible and there's a lot of trust. And that's also the, the thing that's very important to me for my community, my leaders, is making sure that I trust and empower them to do their job. Um, long story short, um, at four o'clock, I, when my son comes back, I spend some time with him and that's my family time. I don't touch my computer. I, I do my stories. Uh, my Insta stories during that time when my son comes back. Um, that's when I play around with him and I, you know, I show, showcase my family life a little bit. Um, the 8.30 when he sleeps, I get back on again. It's work mode again, um, depending on where, who needs me. Um, I look into like my community first and then see, okay, what does my community need this month, this week? What am I seeing from my leaders that I need to support? Where do I, you know, who, who do I need to support more? Uh, who do I need to relax more with, you know, things like that. And what kind of, what kind of um, um, education and resources do I need to create for the community? Um, so these are all the things that like generally go on. But if I wouldn't be able to do any of this if I didn't have a very clear vision of the kind of life that I wanted to live. Right. And, and that was why it's just important for you to share the vision right at the beginning of your trilogy, um, the body, the mind and planet. The planet. That's right. Amazing. Since we're on this topic of planet, right? Uh, what's one honest green mama tip that everyone should use? Something quick, something simple, just something for people to get into the honest green mama mode. Oh my goodness. Um, I think it's with everything. It doesn't matter whether you like whether it's it's whether you're a young living distributor. It doesn't matter whether you're a young living leader. It doesn't matter if you don't even care about young living. You're like stumbling upon this insight series because you're just um i think the most important thing and i see this a lot i mean i've been in the corporate world for 13 14 years now and i've managed teams and one thing i've noticed very 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 clearly um and this is like the downfall of anyone is when you don't have a vision for where you're going um mm. have a vision for the kind of life you want to live and do not let go of that vision once you know where you're going you can draw the path there don't zombie your way through life. That's one thing. If there's one thing I can offer, don't zombie your way through life. So have a vision, have a clear vision of what, where you want to be and, and then just go for it. Yeah. Awesome. Don't aim to be okay. a perfectionist. Just do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I, I can learn a lot from that one. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick fire round. Three things before we wrap up, right? Three things you wish for anyone who's watching or listening into this to take away. You ready? I think so, yeah. Okay, three let's go. Any three things. things. Any three yes, things. Any three things. Let's go okay. for it. Um, I'm an eco warrior, so I will focus only on the environmental sustainability aspect, okay? So, number one, um, use what you already have, right? Um, finish it up, don't just throw it away. Uh, number two, um, Buy only when you need to, and if you do need to, buy better products, uh, question the maker, and do your research. Um, number three, living sustainably is not a linear journey, okay? If you forget to bring your takeaway, that's fine sometimes, um, but neither is success, and it's very important that you understand this. So you need to be compassionate to yourself and acknowledge the need to do better next time. Awesome. I love those three tips. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nina. Um, and that's it. Uh, that was Nina Devouge, a green, uh, well, green blogger, um, honest green mama, and a wellness warrior. So I hope you take away those three main things, three nuggets of gold right there. I know I've, I've learned so much from her just by uh, listening to her and speaking with her today. So thank you for joining us, and we'll look forward to the very next episode of Inside Series. Mm -hmm.